Madison. <gasps> yeah, we are so washed out. How do we not get so washed out? Hey guys, I hope you're all doing well. We've got TikTok house going in the background because that is this guy's favorite thing. I have seen, oh, kid, come on. I have seen so much baby television in my life right now. Like, I feel like I could be a preschool teacher. <laughs> okay, kid, let go of my hair, let go of my hair. So Edison's just gonna be running loose out there, I guess. Like, he's got his stick and he's in control. <laughs> Anyway, today's vlog is sponsored. It is sponsored by Waves Home Solution. If you haven't heard of them, they are a home solution company that deals specifically with water and air treatments to make your house a much more comfortable and safe environment to live in. Like since moving into our own house, it's been like at the top of our priority list to make sure that our environment is super clean, super fresh. I've done a couple of blog posts on things like this, but we are always making sure to rotate through our air filters and whatnot. It's good for the health of your house and it's good for the health of your body and honestly your, your house is such a big investment like you want to protect it as much as possible they have water descalers we have hard water which we definitely do and so we want to get a water descaler but they also have air purifiers to pull out just pollution from the air but it was really cool looking through their site it looks like most of the things they have is stuff that you can install yourself so we can buy a water descaler and we can hook it up ourselves and not have to worry about getting another expense of a plumber or someone else to do it which is just kind of another peace of mind type of thing because we are DIYers if we can do it ourselves, we want to do it ourselves. Um, and so it's just you know it's good for us we like projects and it's also a good way to save coin so they are running a deal right now you can get $150 off their six stage air purifier which is a really good deal because it's really really expensive but again if you have allergies or you're just worried about the quality of the air in your house especially if you live in like the fire areas like we do I swear we live like in fire nation every summer we just get these terrible terrible fires and there's the air is so bad and it gets into the house and you're just like oh my gosh so having that six stage air purifier could be really great if you live in an area like that and so yeah getting another 150 dollars off of that is just really nice on the pocketbooks so if you're interested in that i do have a link below that you can use to just go ahead and get 150 dollars off of that and get your air quality in your house nice Anyway, I'm not going to hold you guys up anymore with this sponsorship and enjoy. You have what we need? We do! Woohoo! So, that means we get to get this baby up today. So, if you don't follow me on Instagram, then you didn't see my really sporadic random story. However, got this on Wayfair. Does, does this go to the outside? Does that go to the outside? So, just putting my hand here, there is definitely a cold downdraft coming down. That could just be like, just, you know, the attic space drafting us and whatnot. It could That's be. probably what that is, babe. But, yeah, on my Instagram, I got this on Wayfair for $65 plus 10% off. It was my first time ordering for Wayfair, so super excited because other ones I was looking at like these were like, 120 150 upwards of 200 so i was really happy about this deal and i feel like this farmhouse chandelier kind of matches these casings that we got at lowe's i was trying to think home depot or lowe's but i think we got these ones at lowe's and we have one in the kitchen too and those were eight bucks and so we're really happy about those fans, baby. our son is in love with ceiling fans i think all babies are Edison, are you losing your mind? You losing your mind, kiddo? Yeah? Is it a ceiling fan? Oh, we should turn the power off at the breaker. That would not be a terrible idea. I did turn the switch off. She should turn the power off at the breaker, babe. So we're going to decide if we want the flush mount or a little bit of chain. So we don't have to have it hanging by much, but... So, full, uh, flush mount 
this would sit in here and be anchored by this, right? Yeah. So let's do this one. Let's do this two ways. So our flush mount would end up looking like this. And I have enough head clearance. I think you'd have enough head clearance that way. And then if we had it hanging down just a little bit. I think it'd look nice if it was just hanging just a little bit. Okay. So three hours later. No, just kidding. It's literally been probably an hour later. It is up and I think it looks so good. So Steven just turned the breaker back on and I'm going to turn on the, oh. What turns on the dining room light? I turned the switch off. But which switch turns on the dining room? This one here. Oh, okay. <laughs> we never, I've never used the switch before. I've always pulled the thing. Ready? Uh, yeah, I'm ready. That looks so nice. Wow, okay, I literally just learned something new because I never used the switch to turn on the dining room before. <laughs> I'm just like, wait, we don't have a way to turn on the light. <laughs> wow, that looks so nice. It does, and I can live with that. And we, we will just walk around it. Like, I clearly have, I have no idea if that got in the shot at all. But like, I have no problem. Like, I fit right underneath it, like, easily, but. It is oh, gosh. just my height to mm. hit my head on. Babe, that looks so freaking good. Thank you, Edison. He did Edison all the hard work. Biggest help. Right? Okay, so while Steven is working, do not do that. Oh my goodness. My kid is trying to kill himself. So while Steven is working, I'm just coming back to the bedroom. There's been a lot of things that I've been meaning to declutter, one of which has been our closet. So I was going back and forth. I was thinking that I wanted to do a full closet tour with you guys to show you how we built our closet, but then there's a lot of things I want to kind of take out. I wasn't sure which video to do first, and I think I've come to the conclusion like I'm just tired of the stuff that's in there that shouldn't be in there so i'm just gonna declutter it first and then if you guys still want like an in-depth video on how we built our closets and whatnot because seriously our whole closet system only cost us maybe 225 it, like that's on the high end it was probably closer to 200 um but yeah it was very very inexpensive so yeah i'm gonna stop talking and i'm gonna declutter the closet and this is what my closet is looking like before I start to declutter. Okay, so here's what the closet is looking like thus far. So I went ahead and just took out all the clothes that I'm not wearing anymore, which is right over there. And it's crazy because I got rid of so much clothes before we moved and I'm still not wearing a lot of this stuff. So I'm gonna get rid of that stuff right there. But then I took my clothes and I kind of folded them on the hangers to give me more space so I can like move the hangers around without things getting stuck. I do think I am going to try to get like wooden slats right here to kind of like, you know, like panels and whatnot to keep it from falling down on the bars. I think wooden shelving there is going to work out well for me, so we'll see. And then down here, I just have my pants stacked up on top of my drawer. And my drawer is still looking nice and neat. I have not watched Marine Kondo's 
um, Netflix special, I need to, um, but rolling my shirts like this workout for me. This was a tip from my old roommate. Shout out to Ryan. Thank you so much. Um, but then I have my shorts in here. Um, and then, yeah, I got rid of a lot of scarves and whatnot that I wasn't using. So this shelf is pretty much cleared out. Got rid of some belts, but most of the stuff in there I'm still using. Um, just dusted these shelves right now. Got rid of a purse, but just organized that. Um, got rid of some jewelry. Then I'm gonna tackle this one and then my wigs next. And then probably just try to organize the things up here and I'll be done. I'm thinking about maybe hanging these too because they hang down really low over my boots. So I'll probably hang those too. Okay, so I went through and I folded the longer dresses and clothing pieces and it looks worlds better. Wow, I almost fell. <laughs> but it looks worlds better. I can see my boots. My shoes look so nice and clean. Also, how I get my boots to stand up is some of my boots come with like these foam pieces, which, you know, kind of help. But really, it's just the packing packing bits that you get from Amazon. So I stuff those in my boots and it helps keep them upright and it just gives such a nice look to the closet. So yeah, save your little packing bits that you get from Amazon or Walmart or wherever you get your deliveries from and just stuff them in the boots. The more you have, the more upright they stay. So the next package I get, more going in here. So I figured you guys should know you can easily make brownies brownies in a cup it's not like a real brownie but it's like a nice decadent fudge thingamabob and it's absolutely delicious i made it last night and it's so easy i'll leave the link to the blog that i found it in below but yeah this is a nice cozy treat on like just a cold snow day like today and this is what it looks like so it's pretty close to like a legit fudge brownie it's really really good like definitely go check it out it'll only be three minutes of your time it's snowmageddon day two been locked in this house since friday and already making all sorts of changes <laughs> <laughs> so we're putting up chair rail i just think it looks a lot more classic and whatnot um we're using liquid nails though so we'll see how well that looks but i think like with the chair rail like this what it looks like with the chair rail just imagine it without duct tape and then without the chair rail like I don't know that just adds such a nice touch to the wall I think so we're getting ready to put up the second one I made these lines that are all sorts of wonky I'm not sure if you can see them but the actual thick lines are all the same measurement so we can get them to look the same we got 16 feet of chair rail um, and I wanted to do it all in the living area but I think we're only going to be able to get the dining area for now, which I think it's going to be fine. And then what we're going to do is a two-tone wall thingy here. So this is going to remain this white color here. And then we're going to get a light gray for up here. And then we're going to do trim up at the top. So I think it'll just be a nice classic look. And then again with the beautiful pendant that Stephen put up. Thank you again so much for that. That looks so good in here. I'm really excited to see what this room turns out to look like in the next couple of months. But I'm going to stop talking and we're going to put up the second chair rail. So both of them are up right now and this stuff takes about four to eight hours to dry. And so fingers crossed that by like, let's say eight o'clock tonight, it's not falling in the ground and it looks pretty good. And then over here, 
So we originally got the liquid nails for this to put up our mantle. Uh, we had a mantle at our old apartment and I absolutely loved it. So I wanted one on the rock face as well, but it's not easy to drill into. So we used the liquid nails and the first time we did it was an absolute fail. But this time around, this is pretty dang solid. Like it's solid already and it's only been like three hours. So I am very excited to see what it's going to look like when it's fully cured. So I think it's only right as my child screams to share with you my snow day chic outfit. I've got the flannel plaid waffle socks, the plaid waffle PJs still on, but in my PJs all day today. My husband's snow suit complete with pockets. And he has like a receipt in his pocket from I think like Boulder to like a long time ago. And yeah, about to get the hat on and shovel the berms from the driveway so we can actually get out of here so I can make it to my doctor's appointment tomorrow. I have my one year postpartum appointment tomorrow and I didn't even know that was a thing. Um, it was really funny. I had called the doctor's office um, to get them to check out my, I was supposed to say UTI definitely not my IUD and uh, I called and the poor OBGYN who was on duty was like the office isn't open yet because clearly like they had a rough night I'm like I am so sorry and then when they called me back I was assuming they had called me back about the IUD that I was asking about and they're like oh no yeah we didn't even get that message yet we were calling because you are overdue for your one year postpartum appointment I'm like oh wow didn't even know that was a thing Anyway, enough about that. I'm gonna go shovel this the rest of the driveway so we can get out tomorrow and I can make it to my appointment. And yeah. So I should share this with you guys, but our neighbors got us a snow shovel. They saw us out there like with my little dustpan, <laughs> which I like using. Um, but yeah, they got us a snow shovel with a card and all the pom poms and I don't know, it just makes us really, really happy. It really so. does. Yeah, so nice. So yeah, I'm really excited. And this card, card, what do you call it? The uh, envelope, there you go. That envelope is super, super pretty. I really like that envelope. All right, friends, I think I'm gonna end the vlog here because I have like 14% battery left. It is still snowing. And so I'm glad to cuddle up with my family. We just finished watching Ant-Man and the Wasp, which was a really, really good movie. And then we're just rewatching Infinity Wars um, since I feel like it was a good transition. What is that that was going on? Um, hashtag nerd life. <laughs> Anyway, um, yeah, let me know if you enjoy watching vlogs as well because I haven't done a vlog in a hot minute, like a legit vlog vlog, um, or at least post in one. I have a couple that I've done and edited, just haven't posted them. Um, but yeah, I might actually start posting more of those again. But anyway, I'm just rambling now, so I hope you guys are staying warm wherever you are. And I'm just watching the snow, it's so beautiful. But oh my gosh, look at this. Look, this is our backyard, like, it's crazy. That is our fire pit, which obviously we can't use right now. Anyway, I hope you guys are enjoying yourselves. I hope you're staying warm and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.